Right, it's good to have you back for the second segment of uh, this uh, program this morning. Good morning, Anambra. And of course, uh, we're going to be discussing something very interesting, something a whole lot of people have been talking about, asking questions and wanting to know which is best. Well, I'm talking about uh, promoting adult and non-formal education. And of course, we have in the studios this morning, Dr. Ifena Cho, HOD Adult and Non-Formal Education, Federal College of Education Technical Umunze. She's here in the studios to do justice to the topic promoting adults and non-formal education. Very good to have you in the studios this morning. Good morning. Welcome. Say welcome. Good morning. Good yes. morning. Doc, we will need you to speak up so the whole world can yeah. hear you. No one some people. You, you, you've no, been an HOD for how long now? Um, you know, I had your discipline you for two years. Okay. I have been it before, and this uh, this session. Oh, you are your second uh, tenor. tenor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let, let let's begin. Uh, what is adult education? Adult education is broad in scope, but to a layman, the misconception of adult education people. People understand adult education, or a layman might call adult education, education for the illiterate home adults. Okay. But in actual sense, it is not so. Adult education is very broad, and it is education for every human being. Okay, well, Youth. it's education for every human being. That's the that is people, that is people whom their society may regard as an adult. Adult. Because we have criteria for measuring adults. Okay, quickly, that, that, that's the okay. definition of, of, of adult education. Education right? for, for human development. Okay, okay, okay. Quickly, okay. Quickly. The non formal education, non formal, non -formal yeah, education is. is equally an organized education outside the school system. It is not in the formal education system. Once an educational, uh, educational uh, scheme or educational program is organized outside the school system. It is called a non-formal education. So, for instance, this film academy. Okay. Yes, they are, they are for a short course. Okay. Most of them are uh, graduates. Yeah. But like in this era of unemployment, okay. we need people to acquire skills, what we call functional skills, practical skills, and not only theoretical, which is literacy literacy ability to uh, that is ability to read and write gone are the days when we need people who can read and write only okay. in today's uh, in the contemporary society today a lot of people are literate you can read you can write you can speak grammar okay. but nobody can come out Walking on the road, speaking grammar, we will term the person a mad person. Mm, all right. You learn mathematics in the class. Okay. You can't be going outside punching your calculator. Okay. It needs to be applied. Uh -huh. Therefore, it is the adults that have to apply. Okay. Adults learn for application of knowledge and skills. Why children learn for futuristic? Adult education is for immediate usage. All right, beautiful. Let's, let, let's, okay, let's take this call. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Your yeah, name and location? I'm sorry, brother. Your name? What's your name? My name is Daniel. Daniel, Daniel. you're welcome. All right, Daniel, go ahead with your questions or contribution. Uh, Daniel, All right, just you, you were saying something before back, this call. Call back, Daniel, yeah. This call came in. Formal, non-formal education and promoting adult education is there a relationship between the two yes what is it the, the issue is that formal education has a limit for primary school six years secondary school six years university four years but adult and non-formal education starts where formal education stopped it is a flexible educational program in that on graduating you see a lot of people roaming about with certificate, even up to PhD level, without functional skills. Mm. But uh, adult and non-formal education, like you yourself, on your graduation, you didn't have the skills of working here. Okay. Are you following? You attended the course, or you, are, you were given an induction course. Okay. It is part of non-formal education. Okay. 
when in this uh, era of unemployment, poverty, people need functional skills, which they will go on to acquire outside the school, non-formal apprenticeship. You go in for learning, for instance, in the uh, olden days. Something like this? Yes, yes. These people may be uh, little, because we have uh, different levels of adult education. We have basic education, basic literacy. Okay. For the people we call illiterate adults, people who cannot know how to read and write, that is basic. We will have post-literacy education for people who have acquired the skills of literacy and they want to progress. We have continuing education, which all of us are in it, because on daily basis, we are in Something era. like this too. Yes, we are in era whereby old knowledge and skills acquired become obsolete. Okay. And you have to update your knowledge. So you and learning. Yes, you continue. Sure, adult education is lifelong. Okay. It has no end. Okay. Because when you stop to learn, you become outdated. So, but how would you describe the impact of career opportunities in adult education or adult non-formal education graduates? How would you describe the career opportunities? Career opportunities. That's why we say that... Because when since you talk about adult education, you know, it's, it's a continuous one and mainly for the adult. Are there career when opportunities? When we talk of adults, it included youths. Okay. Once you're out of secondary school, you need to go on. For instance, a, a secondary school graduate. In let's, let, let's, pause, let's pause you there. Hello, good morning. Please, I need you to move away from your TV set or turn down the volume of your TV set. All right, when you call us uh, as much as possible, move away from your TV or better still, turn down the volume so we can have a very clear discussion this morning. You were saying, I was I actually asked the question. Yes. What's the career opportunity? Career opportunity. Adult education. Even you here, you are doing our job. Yes, you are doing our job. I'm doing your job. Because you have called uh, this daddy that left here now. Okay. He talked on maintaining healthy lifestyle. lifestyle. Okay. It is a mass education. Okay. It is addressed to the adult members of the society. Okay. Are you following? The children may benefit, but it is the adult. The destiny of the nation is in the hands of the adults, adult members yeah. of the society. <laughs> Therefore, adults know, ha, have to be informed, have to be educated, have to be upgrading their knowledge and skills on a daily basis in order to face the competing. Uh, the, the, you, you said, you said the, the, the future of the nation is, uh, uh, or the destiny of the, the adult de is with the destiny. Uh, how did you put it? I said that the destiny of the nation, nation is, is in the hands of the adult. The hands of it the is the adult that so, control. Is it, is it countering the normal, the, 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 the future belongs to the youth, or the youth are the future of tomorrow? You belong to the adult. They are young adults. Once you are out of secondary school, you are. remember that I told you that criteria for measuring adults differs. Are you following? We have social rule as an adult. We have cultural rule measurement as an adult. We have legal, which is 21 years in Nigeria. Once you are out of secondary school, you have to learn a skill. In, in, the, in this era of computer age, when you come out of secondary school, you have to go in for computer of, uh, uh, learning. Are you following? You as a professional, anywhere you are, you need computer literacy. There was a time we don't use computer. Are you following? Yeah. So everybody, every aspect of human being, every works, uh, aspect of a field of works now are computerized. And if you fail to update and upgrade or be informed, you become deformed and you will be thrown out of job. Okay, let's go back to what you mentioned about apprenticeship. Yes. Uh, uh, where does it uh, 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 belong? Formal education or non-formal education? Non-formal education. Non -formal education. So, so, it is education. A career there? Eh? A career? Yes, there are career opportunities. Just like this film academy you opened here, people are there to acquire skills on film, pro film production. After that, what else? They can be self-employed or be employed. Okay. Likewise, we are advocating that people should uh, engage in non-formal education in order to excel. Myself, I'm a witness. All through my education, uh, youth to childhood, I didn't come out, uh, that is, I came from a humble family. If I say poverty, poor. I didn't even attend second, formal secondary education. 
the people I lived with as a maid preferred to train me in commercial school, which I joyfully accepted. I didn't know the difference. When I was telling somebody that I'm a commercial, he said that you are learning a, a skill. You are there to learn a skill. At a point, I refused. But thank God, after teacher training, because I went, later went to a teacher training college, no posting. I have to go back to learning properly how to type with shorthand. And fell in love with shorthand. I can run at any level. Even when you are right, reading the news, I can be writing. Even if I'm sleeping, I'll be dreaming writing shorthand. So, so, so for today, it is that line, that non-formal education I went back to learn how to type that fetched me a job. I served as a secretary in Federal College of Education for 19 good years before I got my master's and become converted to as a lecturer. Okay. So are, are, you, are you, by this analysis, telling us that uh, adult and non-formal education plays an important role very, in promoting education? Very, very. In that, in this era of unemployment, because adult and non-formal education give people opportunity, especially in our school. We have so many causes that is functional. We learn functional skills. Adult education, um, business education in adult and non-formal education, vocational technical education in adult and non-formal education. Those are in your school. Yes, in my department, right in so my department. So regardless of age, anybody can come to federal uh, college In our school. We are not practicing adult education, but we are training the trainers, just like conventional schools training teachers. We are training personalities whom who, we who, who are these individuals? The, the are adults. Adult, the adults. You know. The adult learners. Okay, and the possibly uh, and possibly non formal education. Yes, right? non formal education. When we talk of non formal, it included conference, seminar, mm, okay. workshop. Okay. Training. Is any educational or educational position outside the formal school system. When we talk of formal school, you have curriculum, you have a trained teacher, you have regiments of and rigid uh, practices. But in non formal education, it is flexible because we are dealing with adults. Adults have characteristics. They are matured people, they are goal oriented, they are internally motivated to learn what they want. And as an adult educator, you have to treat them in a friendly manner. I was still talking about promoting adult and non-formal education and in the house doing justice to that as Dr. Ifena Cho, HOD Adult and Non-Formal Education, Federal College of Education, Technical Umunze. FCAT. All right, we're still talking about that. 58 years down the line, down the line, Nigeria as a nation still remains one of the developing countries that due to social, economic, poverty, corruption, and all those things has, uh, you know, contributed to the impediment of education in the country. How do we solve these challenges? Where do we go from here? Thank you. Can, can we know who is calling? No, before you answer the question. Okay, all right. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead, your Thank you. That's what I'm advocating. My aim of bringing my students here last Friday and coming here today is to advocate for people to know what it means, what adult and non-formal education is all about. In this case of unemployment, economic crunch and everything, it is contributed by theoretical education we have, the quest for certificates. Okay. Everybody emphasis on certification without functional skills. I, we are advocating that people should have skills. Like I told you in our department, adult and non-formal education. But it's a pity that whenever you mentioned adult education, people will run away thinking that it is education for the toothless and the old, old mamas people, okay. and papas. No, it is for youths. All this youth empowerment program belong to adult education. In our department, I, like I told you, we have various uh, causes that lead students to skills acquisition in our Greek, home economics. Like today, our students are going to home economics to pre, um, for their exam. They will cook, they will bed, they will do all manner of things belonging to uh, home economics. They sue because the uh, uh, swing is in their telorem. Okay. Babin, 
uh, making everything. We have a course field work experience, which we send them out to choose any vocation where they will go and learn. Okay. In that case, after graduation, like when they come out, like now, they are vacating uh, not less than two weeks now. During the holidays, you can go back to that thing you have learned in school, theoretically, and the, a little aspect of practical, and the specialize in it, so that you can get something. In my family, if I'm a child family, Obunka, we believe in diversity, okay. not only a certificate. Makarandi Bonasi, Kane Makalabo, Manawu is Uri. Yes, sir. Makano Quasin Omoya, Yatrodi Yatron, or the one you would do, Guruji, Omeke, Tawan, or the Makiru, the hope of that woman who is at home, who is not educated. You, you told us you come from a humble background and uh, possibly you didn't go to formal education at the Nishi, but later on you started moving on to this level you are. What is yes. the hope of that woman? Uh, at home who really want to get involved how can she do that that's why uh, i really thank god that this adult education i told you that it is very broad in the old days women as uh be heard and not seen that woman who is at home is not in this era she will uh adult education will teach her i thank god that women are coming in the limelight our Her Excellency, they are now gathering women. They are holding different women uh, empowerment programs. Let that woman come out and join her mates, okay. join her uh, colleagues. She will learn not only reading and writing, she will learn a lot of skills. Gone are days when women are dying at home with their children in hunger. Go out there. So, a so, lot of so by implication, are you saying age is no barrier to learning? No, that is our slogan. Age is no barrier to learning. And our motto is uh, education, to educate for continuous human development. Right. Then, so let's quickly talk about the best practices for promoting um, adult and non-formal education. And of course, let's also talk about funding. How is this funding about? Because when you, we, we know how it is done in the university, for instance. You know, you come, you get your admission, you go pay your school fees, you go pay this. How is it like in the adult education? Is it the same setting as, you know, the way it is in the university? Like you said, in uh, how do we... What are the best ways, you know, the best, best practices to practices promote adult to promote and non-formal education? The best practices to promote adult and non-formal education is for us to go, to the, uh, go back to the drawing board. In the olden days, every family has a vocation. Every family has occupation. You have to teach your child your lineage occupation. Then this formal education, like now that they're in holidays, we have to emphasize on that. There was a time at our childhood, we have what we call hand work, whereby children will be producing in order to produce something. Do it by yourself. Mm, yes, yeah, and the handkerchief and the table mat and everything. But today it's no longer in vogue. We have to go back and reintroduce it into our school system. A lot of children learn a lot from there. And when they learn it, remember the Bible told us to train a child in the way he will go so that he will not depart when, when he goes. Away. Yes, if you lay that part so that the children will start on time to learn skills my children at their secondary school stage there was a time when coming back for holidays there was a time they went for shoemaking they would be given an assignment to go home and learn one skill shoemaking they did it they, they produced sandals before they go back uh, the other one tailoring they made uh, themselves garments before they went back to school bakery and many other things likewise some parents who understood the trend send their children now that they're in holidays if we can organize or government should say should introduce it that during holidays every child of certain age should go and learn one skill as an assignment on coming back you will come back write a report on that i think it will help for us to fall in love with skills acquisition are you following? All right, thank you, thank you very much. Go then on. funding. Yeah, funding. Uh, as you're answering about funding, what about the fiscally challenged? Is there hope yes, for them? Yes, the yes, they are there. They are there. This case acquisition, think about this, the northerners. 
we in the south we think that they are wasting away but if you see them they are the people who value this case acquisition you see them shoe making a uh, cobbler uh, 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 so uh, they are the only people i, I now see carrying this hand manual machine, machine. going about to the, to the club. yes in order not to be idle and we will be here pursuing certificate of all certificate without functional skills. That's why we have what we call in adult education functional illiterates, <laughs> which is here and there. All right. Yes. Well, I think that's actually the much we really have for you this morning, uh, talking about promoting adult and non-formal education. And, of course, in the house, uh, the woman who's been doing justice to this topic, answering almost all the questions as regarding to adult and non-formal education is Dr. Ife Nacho, the head of Department Adult and Non-Formal Education, Federal College of um, Education Technical, Women's. Many thanks for coming on the program. Thank you. We really want to see you some other time so that you amplify all that. I'm, I'm always available. Thank you very much. Uh -huh.